when you're uh, delving into issues you're not supposed to in the court into these wannabe elitists, these wannabe frauds. Shocking people to death, including their own families, marked down for decay, slow decay, physical and psychological. Mysteriously stay up in the night, of course, or the uh, be facetious and enjoy the ride. When you investigate, uh, for instance, uh, trafficking of Slavic women in foreign lands in Turkey and Israel, and you have a uh, a Zionist rapper talks about 18 to 30 year old Slavic women eating brains or dog meat and they prefer brains. And you got some of these facetious little fucking watchers on the payroll monitoring dissidents and whistleblowers. And be facetious and in street theatre they carry uh, big boxes then, some of them. Like that fucker. The light. Like that. Big massive box. Similar to some big structure, as that uh, rap artist depicts, some Jewish actor, artist, mm. trying to sensitise and bug you, get on your wick, be facetious, all these theatre act games. Uh, and then you uh, lash out and say, You better be not fucking actually trafficking people. And then the crate be a carnage when your fucking mum are a racist. And you investigate, uh, you know, traditions and folks and preservation and maintenance and the dignity and the liberty and the progress, true progress of humanity. And all these people can do, want to be elitists, climb the ladder at your expense and destroy former friends, relationships, perception of who you are in the eyes of others, slow decay. All these little witches, these little fucking lemmings. There's Stanley Milgram who shocked the world book. Ordinary people shocking you. Distance and whistleblowers. You know, turn the lights off now, don't you? Somalians and Indians, like the rest of them. Yeah. You fight for the liberty, you fight for the little man in essence. And not just as a white nationalist, your own folk your own traditions, your own culture, but you feel sorry for even the little men outside your realm, outside your folk. And even as uh, an ethno-folkish traditionist uh, and listens to intellectuals appeal to his humanitarian side, we have his classical liberal side, but believes in his honour and his uh, ancestors and appreciates what they've done and uh, has an innate disgust at the double standards and the, the lies, false propaganda against Western kind. These people, for training research pro purposes, to enact on the larger population as a whole, stop with whistleblowers, trying to euthanize them, euthanize the whistleblowers, slowly decay them. You know. And uh, when these play the part, some of them, in another area, you're flat. Lock your computer down, you go on the streets years back. Reading material that's always censored the books, that you had literature, rare books, censored books. Yeah. Teach some juvenile delinquents who need to learn a bit of manners. Teach them a bit of manners. He said that this think it's all, it's all just a big game, isn't it? Some oddball, some eccentric guy trying to teach them in the streets, just walk the streets, tell them certain stuff. Because you're kind of dedicated to the well-being of others. Even though you acknowledge you're the villain in these eyes. Projection like Savalinsky, project their crimes and always after time. Like the lot of the left is. And all they can do is just heap scorn at you. Despise you, they despise you because the thought's no good. And they've been deprived of any goodness. And there's a little person, a little watcher now, surprisingly confident they could get away with it. They have an aura of superiority. They talk with their nihilist books. Heaps scorn at the Celtic people who just craving respectability. 
of my folk are marked down for destruction because they're too civilised now. And to treat women who are human trafficked as uh, just whores. Because... I want you to lash out. Like, uh, pretend the prison guards, all these plebs, want to climb the ladder at your expense. It just goes out at 3 in the morning. Take you in turns, all these fucking neighbours. This uh, set song where your friends, your first loves, ban uh, articles that you read every three months. And these people like this think they've been uh, recruited by a grassroots movement, like anonymous, who are just Mossad and other agencies, who celebrate destruction of renaissance of Germania, who were excelling in fields of excellence in art, literature, beauty, community spirit. These people, these people want to climb the ladder at your expense. Come out like there's some prison guard all of a sudden like you're under house press, a whistleblower, ordinary guy. Never charged with a crime, but here you go. Some uh, facetious little satanic nihilists read nihilist books. These little hypocritical shit. Heaps scorn at you. Uh, Confident they could get away with it because all cowards, funded by rook elements of the government. Uh, the liberal anti fay manipulate all these plebs, turn against people who feed the homeless in a youth group and betray them as the villains, or um, against discrimination against universities, working class of certain persuasion, not deemed of a 2500 grant, but people who have just come to the country are. And uh, mass immigration, usury, you know, exploitation in Yorkshire, grooming gangs. You report on this, this is what you get, and you're portrayed as a villain by these people, highly individualistic, do what other ones fox, portraying them as the fucking guards now. Ordinary little plebs, recruited. Think uh, they were the rebels when they're funded by the grassroots movement. Uh, they want this behaviour. The goal is simply to stay in the car, to antagonise, to goad you like the Sauerlinskis, to make you infamous in your local area. Take snippets of what you say and then come across as a raging bull. The sociopathic narcissist. When he's lost control of you, it gives the perception that you went to others. The rest of these little shitheads do it as well, pretend to go to work. Little commie light fox seek destruction western kind. Okay. Masons, Librante Fay, immigrants. Yeah. See that? And then uh, the other week, half five, and the same home, where you come back with a cut lip when you try and educate 16 old brats, children of Freemasons, scum, in their community watch fucking shitty, shitty office. Be facetious. Push one of them. Your mom, the mom slaps you. Ten of them jump on you. You educate them about a trust is unknown. 70 years ago. From another perspective. Books banned off Amazon. From so-called humanitarian groups. Hate groups from the ADL. On the same road. Last year. Same house. Little fucking facetious brats who stay up just to fucking go to into reaction. Sawalinski personalise the individual and to destroy him from a slow decay. Okay. And this is what they want. This is why they had a car to go to into reaction to create a scene now. This dumb little pleb. Uh. You read the House Storm book, you read the Burberry Slave Trade book. You're sick and tired of the year. Uh, you play the cripple. 
because your ancestor might be an Irish slave in the Caribbean, but because want to portray you people as uniquely evil, can never be the victim. Them little girls, them trashy girls. Look, three in the morning. Little brats up the road. Last year, laugh about it when you get kicked in. And then they're, they're the ones who go out in the car at five in the morning to send the guy a job. They're your Sawalinskis, can you fuck off, you little shithead. And they put you in a mental institution because your mum like that, because you create a scene like this, apparently. Put you in hospital for four months with prison conditions. Loose for effect book by the Jewish fucking uh, shit bag. Have all theatre games. Always on the wits to do it to low level criminals in prison systems. Hook them on experimental drugs like Channel 4 in the Liverpool prison. They're doing it to me in the hospitals four fucking occasions. Yeah, you're supposed to clap for the NHS, so aren't you? Or ha harassing you because you're just an ethno folkish traditionist. A traditionist. Are all these progressive fucking scumbags? These progressive little fucking liberal commie bastards. Hook you on experimental drugs, portray you as a criminal, as a fuck. We got no rights, civil liberties. Huh? You, you go in hospital because you don't take your schizo tablets for three fucking days and your mum fucking rings them up and then they excuse all these doctors to give you Parkinson's and tremors for three fucking months where you're embarrassed to go walk the streets of a chip shop when you got tremors like Parkinson's. The wolf scum. Instead of apologising, you got kids like 20 year old little girls staying up, follow you like some god, little bitch. Huh? Reading fucking educated people because you're dedicated to help the world being the worst more than yourself or in the worst situation than yourself. Huh? They think they're better than you. They're all superiority, these plebs.